A lot of people ask about paper grain, what it is, and why you need to know what it is. It's important, especially in book binding, to know which direction your paper grain is going in because it will affect the outcome of the book. One of the best ways that I've been able to explain uh, paper grain is that it's a lot like a piece of corrugated cardboard where panels are running this way. Part of the process um, when they shake the water out of the sheet of paper is that the fibers sort of naturally line up with each other and they create a sort of direction that the fibers are all going in. That's your paper grain. So the, thing, the way to find paper grain is to think of it like corrugated cardboard. It's really easy to fold a piece of corrugated cardboard with the grain. It's really hard to fold a piece of corrugated cardboard against the grain. And I think you know what I mean. And you can take any sheet of paper and you can fold it over, and not fold it, but just bounce it like this, and feel the difference between how easy it is or how hard it is to fold the to bounce the paper. This way is giving me a lot less resistance than this way is. So I know that the grain of the paper is running this way. And it's always a good idea to mark the back of your paper with the direction. One of the things that you can also learn about paper grain is that if you fold paper against the grain, you're going to have this sort of choppy, broken up fold that isn't going to be nice and smooth. Now you can fold that down with a bone folder and get away with it. It won't look all cracked like that. But the paper grain is going the wrong way. This is the correct way. If you fold a piece of paper and get a nice crisp edge to it, that's the grain of the paper. Why do you need the paper grain? When, especially in making a book, you want to make sure that all the paper grain is going the same way. And generally, depending on which kind of book it is, but generally speaking, you'll want the paper grain to be running top to bottom along the spine. So that's the direction that all the paper grain is going to be going in. So you want to make sure that your cover, your interior pages, and anything else that you put inside this book, even if it's a hard cover book, make sure that the board is going in the right grain and make sure that the paper covering the board is going with the right grain. And the reason that's so important is that, especially if you're gluing uh, paper, or if any moisture gets at paper, paper has a tendency to expand and contract. So if your grain is going this way on every single piece of paper, including the cover along the spines, all going the same direction, if it comes up against any moisture at all, the paper is going to swell out this way. It's going to go back in that way. So you want to make sure they're all all the papers are swelling in the same direction. If you have one sheet of paper with the grain going this way and another with the grain going this way in the same book, you're going to see that these two are going to fight each other when they need to swell. So that's why paper grain is important to know, especially when you're bookbinding.